Hello everyone, welcome back. I'm Raghavendra Mishra and in this video we will learn how to rerun the failed test cases and identify the flaky test in Playwright. In the course of this video we will execute source demo test scenario using a VS code. We will set a retries in Playwright config file and also we'll see how to we can pass it to npx command and we will identify or simulate the flakiness of the test. All right, with that, uh, let us discuss what we are going to do in this video. So this is the test scenario which we have identified. So we are going to log into the source demo and we are going to place an order, okay? And at the end, we are expecting this string to be present after we have successfully placed the order. And then we are logging out from that aside. All right, so we have a couple of folks here. So it will be closing, it will, it will be closing the pace after successful execution of the test okay and before every test it is actually going to launch this url okay so with that let us see how this test is actually behaving whether it is going to pass or fail so see it has passed and I will show you what I have set over here. So you can see I have set the retries. So you can set it inside uh, your config file. Okay. Inside this block in your playwright config.js file. Okay. Which is uh, being used while you execute your you know test. Your test is going to use the properties whatever is written over here in this playwright config. Uh, playwright.config.js. Okay. So this is how you can uh, set this retries in playwright config under this config. Okay, just be, uh, underneath or just below test directory you can mention one and just give one comma. Okay, so we uh, having uh, this value set to one. We have just executed this particular you know test scenario and it is passed and you didn't see any retries because it has passed. So retries will only uh, come into the picture when the test is failed in this uh, scenario uh, we will actually demonstrate how okay so also we will uh, discover or we will identify three state of the test execution so one is passed we have seen and we will intentionally you know make this test case uh, fail by failing the assertion so let me just um, fail this test i will just change the string to not found and I will run it again and since we have set the retries to uh, one it will again make one more attempt and with both attempts it will actually uh, you know fail the test okay so with both attempts it is actually failing so it will be considered as a failed test case okay so we have identified two state of the uh, test one is passed we have seen one is failed with the retries also it is failing so it is considered to be a uh, to be failed test scenario okay third state is flakiness so flakiness uh, flakiness is the state wherein your test execution is failed on the first one but passed when retried okay so we are going to just see that so how you can do that just in case if your test execution is so fast that you can't even uh, think of you know interrupting that so you just uh, need to identify like the way i have identified and i have mentioned you know delay over here while typing the uh, name okay just provide delay so that you have some chance or you know so it will be uh, putting one delay uh, while typing r a g h every character it will be actually taking two milliseconds okay pause so let me just run it and interrupt this signal while we have set retries to one in our config file we will also pass it from the console like from here so let me just close it and this time i will interrupt the signal so consider the case when you have 100 test cases and uh, uh, by uh, so i am just cancelling it okay let it fail it will go for retry now we will see that in the console see it is going for the retry and you can see this again it is doing the same test and it will fail again we know for sure so we will change the string to the uh, 
you know thank you for place your order okay so we will change right to the expected one so that we can at least get that uh, what we want okay that we want to see the flakiness of the test so i'll just run it again okay let me uh, retry from here okay so this will override the whatever value is set uh, here in the config file so i will just cancel it and see it will go for retry see it is going for retry and we can see that test is also going again and it is considered as a flakiness because this time it has found that uh, whatever ex expected string uh, is there right is found actually so it has considered that text is uh, flaky because it has failed for the first time in the first run but it is passed in the second run okay so this is how you can you know uh, make this particular you know test case pass or fail or uh, you can consider that as a flaky or basically it will be uh, considered flaky when uh, as i already mentioned right for the first time it is failed uh, so you can uh, define the number of you know tries okay so maybe uh, in the two attempts it is actually uh, failed and in the third attempt it is actually uh, uh, passed then it uh, then it will be considered as a flakiness again okay so see it is going for the and again i will actually cancel it let's see if it goes for a second retry or not see it is going for the second retry okay let it pass this time see it has considered that as a flaky test okay we will uh, we can open the report or open uh, it will be open uh, open by um, by default actually in the default browser so see you can see the flakiness okay and it has overruled the value whatever we have set in the config files right if you pass the values or it tries from the console so we have seen i have passed two and because of that it has tried two times retry count equal to true okay so it has failed in the first attempt it has failed in the uh, retry uh, first and it, it has passed in the retry two okay so this is the case uh, like um, you have your smoke test uh, where wherein you have you know 100 um, or 1000 test case, uh, you know 10 test cases maybe for the smoke test or 1000 test cases for the regression test okay and you, uh, there might be chance due to a network um, you know latency uh, high latency or uh, because of user interaction right or some because of some locators right if your cs locator is not generic so your test case might um, be flaky maybe failed for the first time due to some indexing or something so you have to be make you have to make it sure that uh, whatever you know located you have found or you know um, you know added should be generic enough in the dome so that every time like uh, with some uh, changes in the dome it should not uh, it should be able to you know identify the locate uh, element web element or the page right and uh, with that you can avoid this flakiness also so this time uh, for demonstration i have just changed the or interrupted the order of the execution okay so that it should uh, go for retry and uh, third time i didn't interrupt so that it should uh, go uh, uh, with the flow and pass the test and with that uh, it has considered that as a this test as a flaky okay so we have seen a three uh, test uh, the state of the test one is like a pass and then second is you know failed and third is like a, you know flaky test so the test will be called as flaky when it is failed for the first uh, run failed on the first run but passed uh, with the retry okay so i hope uh, you have uh, uh, liked the explanation and learned from this <coughs> video so please do uh, like and subscribe to my uh, channel if you have not and uh, share it with your friends and uh, share the feedback in the comment section and I will see you in the next video and uh, till then keep learning and thanks for watching.